What happened? Why are you not uploading videos? I think he forgot his YouTube password again. Am I the only one who opens Masked Arab's channels daily to see if he has uploaded or you're normal? Damn, you guys actually do this? Okay, I kind of feel bad now, not gonna lie. Did America bomb your house? No. Something worse happened. That's why I've not been uploading. Something happened that it changed the way I view life. You know, life is not the same anymore. You know, I, I think I'm living in the matrix now. You guys are not real. So, you know, get your popcorn. Or you know what? Don't get your popcorn. Just get your Zamzam -zam water. Because this video might be short. I don't know. The story is not that long. And yeah, this is the story of uh, my life will never be the same anymore. And why I've not been uploading. So three weeks ago, I'm eating KFC with my friend. For those of you peasants who don't know what KFC is, it's basically a chicken restaurant. The chicken is kind of tasty, but it gives you diarrhea shit. And you know, we were eating these chickens. We were going beast mode on them. James Charles mode on them, just sucking the meat out of the bone. And you know, seven, se seven chickens and I realized he's not eating the chicken with the ketchup. You know, we normal people usually eat ketchup with the fried chicken right or are you not normal you know you're probably you're normal right guys so you know i just passed him the ketchup packets and tell him bro are you shy why are you not eating the ketchup you know there's plenty of ketchup you can eat and he was like i don't like ketchup with the chicken with the fried chicken <laughs> no I, I thought he was joking i was like <laughs> what do you mean bro are you allergic from ketchup or something he was like no i just don't like ketchup with the fried chicken you mean you don't like ketchup with the fried chicken? It's like ordering a cheeseburger and taking out the cheese from the cheeseburger and then eating the cheeseburger without the cheese. It doesn't make sense. You know, there's just things that make sense in life. If you're thirsty, you drink a cup of water. If you take a shit, you wash your ass. Some countries don't. Some countries use... They, they wipe their ass with toilet paper. That's kind of disgusting, you know. If any of you guys are doing it, I advise you to wash your ass. It's clearer. It's cleaner. I'm just saying, you know. But, okay, why did I get into this? Should I cut this out? Yeah, and, you know, the third thing that makes sense is we eat ketchup with the fried kitchen. It, it just makes sense, you know. It's the unwritten rule of life, you know. It's the unconscious thing in your brain. Fried chicken, fries, goes with ketchup. That's just it. No further explanation. It's just how things are. So, you know, that day I just go home. And, you know, I just went home and I just wondered to myself, are there more weird things I didn't know of? Are there more things to life than that I thought of? So, you know, I opened my good friend Google, you know, this Google thing, it has like 100% of your answers. Okay, not like 100%, only Allah has like 100% of the answers, but Google has like 99% of the answers. And... I just Google, you know, do some people not enjoy ketchup with fried chicken? And after two hours of research, okay, I'm kidding, like five minutes of research, I, I found this article, study, poll, whatever, which says almost 50% of people put ketchup on their fried chicken. What? 50% only? Are you telling me that the rest of the 50% don't put ketchup on their fried chicken? My la my reality is shaking. The fundamentals that have been holding my life. My life is not the same anymore. I'm in the matrix. I might leave my room and my I found that my sister is my mom and my mom is my sister. And I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. And look at this guy. Ooh, he's putting ketchup in. What? What is he putting ketchup in? It says here 2% of people put ketchup on pancakes. I think these people deserve to be executed. Okay, that cut off. I don't know what happened. So you know what? I'm like, nothing else can be worse. You know, the, it's probably the only weird thing that I found that, you know, if I do more research, I'm not going to find more weird things. And I was wrong. Some people enjoy eating pizza with pineapple. Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple. You, you know the fruit, pineapple. The, the thing SpongeBob lives in. Some people enjoy eating the pineapple fruit with the pizza what 
this is a hate crime against the Italians. If I was an Italian, I would sue every restaurant that puts pineapple on pizza. These people need to pay for their heinous crimes. They should be jailed for their heinous crime of putting pineapple on pizza. What kind of human being are you to put to enjoy pineapple with pizza? But it gets worse. Some people eat pizza with a knife and fork. Oh! And even worse, some people enjoy eating burger with a knife and fork. If I was sitting, <laughs> what? If I was sitting at a restaurant and somebody across the table was eating a burger with a knife and fork, I would think, I would immediately think that this is a joke. You know, there's cameras around the room. They're just waiting for me to laugh so they could just catch this moment and put it in their little prank show or whatever. It can't be real. It is not real. It shouldn't be real. So I'm like, I just do more research. I found something funny. You know, I found some countries eat nuts for breakfast. Yeah, not nuts, the, the, the Brazilian cashew nuts, whatever. Like uh, balls, you know. You know, they eat these nuts. You know? These testicles. Nuts. You know, some people eat goat testicles for breakfast. Huh? It's kind of funny, you know. But it's nice. I mean, they wouldn't get a these nuts joke, you know. So they wouldn't be offended. And then you know what? I I, I decide to do more research, and I wish I haven't, because what I just found out is infuriating. Infuriating. I'm upset. My faith in humanity has been lost. Okay, so there's this thing called hummus. You know, it's like a white, brown paste, and we eat it with chicken or meat in the Arab world. And you know, it's tasty. I just found out in Europe and America. They made chocolate hummus! What? Chocolate hummus? Who made this? Look at this! It looks like my diarrhea shit in a bowl! There's no way you enjoy this! You don't deserve taste buds if you enjoy that! Who made this thing? The... This guy needs to be hunted down and answer for his crimes against humanity, not just against the Arab world, but against humanity. How do you come up with making chocolate hummus? How evil, how much of a psychopath you have to be? And it doesn't stop there. There's strawberry hummus, cookie hummus. What? You know, I'd rather be called a terrorist all day, all night, than have chocolate hummus existing. Yes, I'm more offended the, at chocolate hummus existing than being called a terrorist and I, I should this is my right this is it's our heritage it's being attacked so you know is this the reason why I have not been uploading on YouTube no I just wanted to make you guys laugh now I've been having some issues outside of the YouTube world you know we're humans you know we have some issues shit happens but yeah the, the journey the journey has been crazy you know it doesn't feel like a journey it, it feels so short you know i don't even know why people watch my videos and you know reading your comments guys the past couple of days it makes my heart heart. It, it makes my heart to and you know reading your comments guys the past couple of days you know some people are telling me you know your videos are, are curing my sadness my my videos are curing my depression, you know. Maybe I should start watching my own videos. And you know, it, it just, thank you guys, you know. It's been, it's been kind of a crazy journey. Not have been that long, but for some reason, you know, people uh, love me, I guess. Now I just upload a video, disappear for some reason. The video for some reason gets millions of views and it gets me subscribers. And I'm like, do I want this responsibility? I've never wanted to be a YouTuber, but I, I'll have it, I guess, you know. And yeah, you know what? In the in the coming days, I'll try to uh, I'll try to give you good content. You know, I promise. You know, I always fall short of my promises with with scheduling. And yeah, I'm I'm kind of a lazy piece of shit. Not gonna lie. You guys should know this about me. And yeah, uh, hopefully the next weeks we got some good content for you guys. So stay tuned. And yes, nice, good, very good, nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a great day. Okay, where's the end record button? I forgot where it is. Okay, where is it? Oh, here.